Hello botany students! We're going to be jumping into the angiosperms of flowering plants. Flowers come in many shapes and sizes. Here's the trailing blackberry flowers. And here's some salal flowers. These are videos I took just this past weekend, so these should all be readily available in your area as well. Here's some buttercup. And we note here that not all flowers look the same. Right? So sometimes flowers look a bit different. What you'll be looking at in more detail here is a lot of the reproductive structures of the flowers, both the male and female parts. Here's some ocean spray. Now, if you've ever eaten a fruit, then you have had a direct relationship with an angiosperm, since uh, fruits come from the ovaries of flowering plants. They're the most diverse group of plants on the planet likely due to their ability to attract pollinators with their flowers and have fruits, sometimes fleshy fruits, the edible fruits that are attract, that attract uh, animals and help uh, disperse their seeds, at least in some species. So as you can see, there are many, there's a huge diversity of flowers. And so when you go out, you're gonna look, be looking for a eudicot flower and a monocot flower to dissect. And so these are all various options that you might find. It's not just humans, of course, that have an interest in flowers, or rather angiosperms. Uh, here's a caterpillar uh, getting ready to munch, perhaps, on this big leaf maple. And, of course, the pollinators are very happy that flowers are around. And uh, like this uh, pollinator here, you're going to be becoming intimately familiar with various reproductive parts of angiosperms. Nice view here of both the male parts, including the anther with the pollen, and the female parts of the flower, including the sticky stigma where the pollen will stick to. So I invite you to get outside and go in search of some of these flowering plants. There's plenty available in our local environment right now, since a lot of species are flowering parks, uh, any sort of grassy areas, even backyards can potentially work to help you find these uh, flowering plants. And just keep in mind that you often don't have to go far to find angiosperms. It's the grassy lawn and you can have uh, many hundreds of flowers right at your feet. All right, have fun exploring.